Amy's in a great mood today. Wow, guess what today is everyone? Slippy day, woohoo! I'm so excited, are you excited? I'm really excited, mainly because Amy's been wanting to get her lips done for so long now. Again, um, I've had them done before. You've had them done before? Yeah. And today is the day. It's today's like Christmas. We woke up this morning, kittens jumped up on the bed, yeah. and we were like, today's the day! Woke up this morning, feeling fine. Anyway, yeah, so we went to the gym. We've also got our new deliveries. Oh my God, these look like arse cheeks. Um, we also got our new delivery from Girl of Muse. So we are in full Girl of Muse fits. Oh at yeah. The moment, and we're loving these shirts. They're like brushed cotton. They're so fluffy and cozy. For those of you, who do, maybe don't know, maybe do. I have previously had lip filler in my lips, so I think by now, it's majority of it's probably dissolved. There is still definitely a bit in there, but I've had two courses of one mil, or just under one mil at times, depending on sort of like what Georgie thinks I should have, what I shouldn't have. The thing I would say is, before we get started, everyone has their own opinions on filler and on getting stuff done. My personal opinion is I do it because I feel more confident when I have it done. I see it as like a little bit more permanent of the version of makeup i guess like some people put makeup on to feel better and to feel the best version of themselves and i feel exactly the same about that um i know when i first got them done my mum and dad were like leave your little face alone and now it's just my face but i get very small amounts done um the girl who actually does the procedure is a nhs nurse as well so she is the perfect person to go to because if there are any complications she knows before i know if there's any issues and um, if she actually looks at my lips today and thinks i'm not putting more filler in you she'll tell me she will outright say refund you're not you're not having filler um and she's very regularly said i would advise not putting more in i'd advise this that and the other so you know at the end of the day i am a walking portfolio for her so if my lips look rubbish that's actually on her you know Anything you want to say here, Tim? I'm super excited. Let's go stick some needles in you and just see what happens. <laughs> you know. oh. oh, hang on. Wait. Wait. <laughs> so come along with us, get my lippies redone, and yeah, hopefully this will answer some of the questions any of you might have. If you've ever considered filler, I know before I had filler, I watched like 101 different YouTube videos because I was so scared of the pain. Anyway, let's go get our lips done. Oh, this yeah. Is see the difference in that. Yeah. Mm. I love They're it. Really nice, don't they? That's why I keep making it bleed. <laughs> and it's like every time, every time I move. it stops <laughs> to so um I always say to my um clients as well that if after two weeks if there's any unevenness or anything like that, obviously if it's a little bit uneven before you may not hundred percent be able to get that. Yeah. But if it's because sometimes the lips can swell more than others. So they can look perfect on the day. Yeah. But then two weeks later, they can be slightly uneven. And I always tend to come back, and if they need more, I put more in for free. Mm. There's literally no drama to open up another syringe and just. Yeah. So, again, if there's any concerns or lumps or anything like that, um, you can message me. Amazing, thank you. Do you need a license to do this? Um, so Why are you planning on setting up your own? Well, you know, no, I'm not going to put her out of business. I, no. I, I, I do not have the hands. Could never, no, you don't. Um, Too much caffeine. You, you obviously you need to have your training, but it's so unregulated in us. Really? Oh, I think that's crazy. Anyone can do it. You can literally go on like a day course and do. Is that what's so Botox? Yeah. It's so dangerous, is isn't it? Botox, Botox, correct me if I'm wrong, is literally like toxic to the body. Yeah, if it is a toxin. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. This is Zoe, but it's called Zoe Balm, and it's specifically for after you've had lip filler. It just helps with healing, and obviously sometimes they can feel a bit dry and a bit tight. So yeah. This just really helps. Um, Are there any big no-nos for after? 
Um, I would just say not touching them. Um, not touching no sunbeds, saunas, things like that. I would say just if you want to go to the gym, just take it really easy. I'd avoid mm-hmm. it for the next 24 hours, 48 hours. Rest um, tomorrow anyway, so yeah. fine. <laughs> so yeah, sunbeds definitely not. I mean, I would not recommend them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. So that's fine. No massaging. I tell my clients to massage them. Mm-hmm. That's about it, really. I'll send you all the um, aftercare anyway. Love that. How they feel now? Yeah, I love them. Thank you so much. Are you happy oh, with they them? look perfect. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> All done. Pain out of ten? Zero. Amazing. Well, no, it doesn't even hurt. It's just you like, a little, feel it. like a little pinch. And then as soon as they start to, as soon as you get more injected, it feels less and less painful. Yeah. In my opinion, anyway. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Guess he's back. Woo! Done it. 45 okay. minutes later. 45 minutes of Olympics, I think, is just so good because she like lets me sit in the cream before so they get real numb. I always swallow quite a lot of it though because I'm talking. I'm like such a fidgety child. Um one thing I want to say is whenever I swell, I always swell really badly around here. So I get like little beak lines. You see these? Do you see my beak? Yeah, lines? I see a little bit. My little beak lines. My first immediate favourite thing about lip filler is that my lips look so hydrated. I mean... Blumpy. Do you see how hydrated and shiny they are? I'll keep you guys updated in terms of the swelling, bruising. Um, I always find the first night is when most of my swelling happens. Um, what do you actually think of these? I mean, I really like them. I think they look good. I think they're obviously swollen at the moment and they will go down a bit. Um, but they're not as they're not as swollen as I thought they'd be. Yeah, I think I'll get some bruising here. I'm so close okay. to the camera, I'm gonna go now, bye. Uh, Hello darlings. Um, it is now a week and two days today ago. I had my lippies done. I'm um, sorry, I'm currently running late for work, so I'm just straightening my hair on the lounge floor, as you do. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update on the shape and the swelling. So this first thing in the morning, and I personally find that my lips swell first thing in the morning anyway. Um, but all the bruising's gone, majority of the swelling's gone down. Um, as you can see here, I get these little like beak lines, but I always get those. And about three to four weeks later, they tend to disappear. So, but I absolutely love them. I think they look so hydrated as well. Yeah. I'm real, 10 out of 10. Oh, I'm a 10 out of 10. I'm... No, 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 the lips are a 10 out of 10. <laughs> You're an 11. No, but honestly, love them to pieces. Didn't have any pain, didn't have any troubles, nothing at all, no lumps. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. And if any of you are considering getting your lips done, just research where you're looking to go. Um, and if you've got any questions, head to Georgie, cause she is unreal. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys are considering anything, just make sure you're doing it for you and no one else. Love you all so much. See you next week. Bye.